What's up, Fisherman Fanatics? And we're back. Um, finally recovered enough from surgery to get down in the fish room again and actually record some videos. So that's what we're gonna do. But it's just gonna be an update. It's been about a month um, since everything went happened. But these are the green laser quarries that were really, really small. And you can see there's not quite as many snails in here anymore, but there's still a lot, so yeah. And then the flower horn obviously just took off. There's a lot of algae on the sink. We gotta do a good cleaning. He's still doing really well as, as well. And then you got the swords, which a lot of them hide still. But there's a male and female skittering around. Those are the hybrids that we had. There's still a couple more in there, but they're hiding, which they usually do, unless it's feeding time. Um, there's only quarries in this tank at the moment, which is our, our gummy, grummy tank. You can see one of the assassin snails. Um... There are quarries in here. Green laser quarries are in here. They're just not out right now, it looks like. But this tank is starting to become infested with snails as well because we feed them very, very well. <laughs> but we had a batch of eggs. We moved over here, and there's quite a few of them in here. Babies. They're almost a quarter of an inch long already, so that's that. And then this tank lost its light, so you can't really see, but we still have some killies in here and some white clouds in there. And then, of course, the Endler tank has completely blown up. There's still a, just a ton and ton and ton and ton and ton of Endlers in here. Um, the goal is to bring a lot of these over to a sale on, in October. I'll talk a little bit more about that towards the end, because if you're in the Milwaukee area, you definitely want to check it out. I did have the opportunity, however, to finally move two of the female red bristle nose in here, the super reds. So now there are two female and there's two male super red bristle nose in here. And usually one of the females is out, but there's one of them. There should be a male in here. Maybe not this time around. Um, and then the other male usually hides in that one, which is my bigger of the two. And then there's the other female, I think, back here, maybe? No, I can't tell. But both females are in here. Um, it's possible one of them got locked up with one of the males already, so that's that. Um, we did lose the other discus that we had, the yellow. Uh, sadly, don't know what happened. As you can see, the other two that we've had forever are still doing just fine. And of course, all of the other fish are in there as well. Uh, we did have some loss, uh, losses in this tank. A lot of the koi swords are gone. Um, I do believe all of the kuhakus that we had are gone. And keep in mind, we've had some of these fish for two years now, so that's not entirely surprising because we did get them as adults and we did go on vacation as well. We were gone uh, for a week. And you can see that some of the tanks have really suffered from it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do some cleaning, which will hopefully happen this weekend, but. These guys, all my multis are still doing pretty well. They're all looking for food. They're all out and about. But we did lose some of the, uh, some of our fish, unfortunately, during the vacation. So, it is, it's life, it happens. But the uh, cherry red tank blew up. There's, try to get rid of some of this glare here, sorry. Um, the cherry red tank blew up. There's a bunch of cherry red shrimp in here now, all over the place. It just went completely crazy, finally erupted, and they are doing extremely well in here. Uh, we did set up this tank. All of the quarries that were in here got moved. Uh, these were the Mateo quarries. We moved all of them over to here, and we pulled the bristle nose out of here and put them obviously into there. So we still have bottom feeders in each of the tanks. This one is going to be converted into a shrimp tank. Oh, wow, I missed one of the babies. Ha! <laughs> Son of a gun. Every time I'm filming, I realize that there's babies in here. And he's scounging for food. I gotta feed him. Um, that's one of the one of the babies that we had in there. Actually, there's two of them. There's another one right there. Son of a gun. All right, well, let me throw some food in there real quick. 
actually. Because I haven't been putting food in this tank. And granted, there's enough microorganisms and there's enough algae that was in here and everything else to keep them fed, but I like to make sure that they're fed. So, let me throw a couple in here real quick. You get to actually see these guys getting fed. And we use algae wafers. Uh, normally, we have some that we buy from a vendor. But unfortunately, we haven't been able to go to any swaps or anything lately where he would be. And back over there. we've had to actually resort to store-bought, which I really don't care for much. Holy smokes. There's one. There's two. There's three. How many more are in here? They must have just had a batch of eggs right before I moved them. And because there was nothing in here to eat the eggs, they just hatched. That's actually really cool, but at the same time kind of frustrating because had I known that, we could have had way more. Oh, the life of a fish keeper, I tell you. It's never ending. But yeah, you can see there's one there and then there's two more back there. So that will tell me with all of the cover that we have in here, I'm willing to bet that there's at least two or three more. So, that's very possible. That's crazy. Then you see the overhead view. There's a couple of them back there. Huh. Never fails. Every time I move Cory out of a tank, there's always, there's always babies in there. Every time. I should know better by now. But yeah, Blue Dream, uh, Blue Dream Shrimp Tank. And there's also some uh, Celestial Pearl Daniels in here. There's two of them that we've had since they were babies. I'm not sure where they are. There's one of them back there. Not sure where the other one's at. These guys are doing really well, though. They're really big, really bright. And you can see there's a, a little itty-bitty guy. Um, this tank is beyond exploded. To say it's exploded is an understatement. I mean, we've probably got two or 300 Blue Dreams in here right now, if not more. Um, and no matter where you look at, you see shrimp. It's just, they're just everywhere. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. So, yeah, there's that. Um, so these guys are going to be going with us in October as well. Uh, some of the cherries will go with us in October. Um, definitely some of the endlers are going with us in October. And then our black moscows down here. These guys have, have really taken off. You can see there's some new fry in here. It's relatively real, really new fry, actually. Um, these guys have exploded as well. So hopefully by October we'll have enough ready to sell so those are going with us. Uh, we have the Bloody Marys down over here still. They're doing God only knows what. Um, and for anybody that's interested in the green lasers, we are gonna be bringing all of these with us in October. Um, the event I'll talk about at the end, which is coming up shortly, but uh, keep in mind if you do want some green laser quarries, we are going to have all of these with us. And there's probably 60 or so in here. Um, we're gonna bag all of them up and bring them with. And then down here, this tank really needs to have a makeover done, but you can see up on top, there's some of the Bloody Marys. This one's doing really well as well. So yeah, that's it for the downstairs tanks. We've kind of trimmed up a little bit and cleaned up some of it and kind of cut back a little bit, but we're preparing because October is coming and it's uh, going to be an awesome event. It's, uh, fish, it's the Milwaukee Aquarium Society's Fish Bowl. I will have more information also on the in the details below. If you guys want to check that out, I would strongly suggest you do. It's going to be a pretty huge event. Uh, we're getting a hotel. There's going to be several speakers there. We're doing vendors. We're doing um, an actual swap. There's going to be silent auctions. There's going to be auctions. There's going to be a ton of stuff going on. We're helping out with it. We're helping um, to do some of the contests that are also going to be there. We're doing a uh, plant, there's a plant contest, there's a tank decorating contest. Like I said, there's gonna be silent auctions, mini auctions, auctions, there's gonna be vendor swap, uh, vendors. Um, there's actual vendors like Aquion and all that stuff could be there. Um, along with some of the local vendors as well. And then we're also gonna have a swap where anybody that's wanting to come that's in the that's in the hobby and wants to come in and kind of sit down and sell some other stuff are allowed to do that as well which is what we're going to be partaking in it's going to be i want to say it's august 13th and 14th or uh, october 13th and 14th 
to have to double check on the dates on that, but I'm pretty sure those are what the dates are. It's a Saturday and a Sunday. Um, there is going to be a fee to get in. There's uh, going to be a fee for the tank decorating contest. Basically, when uh, you pay the fee, you're buying the tank, you decorate the tank, and then you get to keep it if you want at the end. Um, there are going to be some tanks that are going to be auctioned off as well for the plants, uh, the plant contests. Um, plant contest is any potted plant, you can bring it in. There's going to be numerous tanks set up, and then you'll be judged uh, professionally. And there's going to be, like I said, uh, five speakers, I believe, or four speakers. I forget which now. I'll have to look. But the website is up. I will have a link in the details for that below. If you're in the neighborhood, I would strongly suggest checking it out. There's going to be a lot to do, a lot going on. Like I said, it's going to be a ton of fun. The fees that you'll pay, you'll see on the site, they'll include uh, admission for the weekend, and then also you have an option of picking up some other pretty cool swag, hoodies and uh, shirts and whatnot. But go on there. You can register now. You can reserve a block for yourself, a hotel room for yourself in the actual hotel that we're at. Very possible to do all of this. It is gonna be in a couple months. We're three months away now, less than three months away now. So we're getting all of the finer details completely worked out, but for the most part, it's set up and rocking and ready to go. Definitely, definitely, definitely check it out if you're in the neighborhood. Strongly suggest it. It's a great way to meet a lot of local breeders. It's a great way to meet a lot of local vendors get in touch with some of the, the more major vendors. And like I said, there's gonna be a, a huge set of auctions going on. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of cool speakers. If you guys know um, anything about shrimp or if you guys know anything about like uh, skate tanks or decorations, stuff like that, that's what a lot of the, the speaking is gonna be on is primarily just like you and your planet tank. Um, or you and the, the, the tanks, the plants that you keep or something, I forget exactly what it is. It's on, the slogan's on the page. But uh, that's what they're gonna be talking about. So like I said, there's gonna be a lot of speakers going on. They will be all speaking on Saturday. And then Sunday is mainly just a sales event. So there's gonna be auctions and swaps and vendors and we're gonna be wrapping up all of the, de the decorating contests and, and the plant contests and everything. So it's a, a full weekend event really cool really strongly urge that you check it out if you're in the area it's gonna be a good time we're gonna be there there's gonna be a lot of other people in our area there as well as um, some others that you may know off of YouTube too uh, I know Brett's is gonna be there uh, so I'm trying to think if anybody else will be I don't know off the top of my head we're still sorting everything out but uh, yeah the, the speakers are locked in like I said good times coming check it out and yeah, pretty much about it. Sorry it's taking so long to get back in, into the swing of things, but as I said, I was down for surgery. I wasn't really able to move around and get around as much as I would have liked, but I'm back. And we're gonna be doing this. Oh, hey, look, there's the other one. <laughs> I found you. Anyways, um, yeah, we're gonna be back in full swing, hopefully. I'll be doing videos on Fridays and we'll go from there. So check it out. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, drop them in the box below. If you have any suggestions, we're always open and we're always welcome to take them. And as always, ladies and gents, happy fishcaping.